Alright guys, this is Julia, and today in this video, I'm going to show you guys how to fix a Windows 10 computer that isn't starting up. Now, I actually fixed this computer in the past, and it was about a year ago, and I think I did a computer adventure on this. I forgot what it was called. I can't remember the name. It was like the HP something adventure. I, I don't know, but it was one of those videos. But it wasn't the SSD one though, it was the other one I did, like almost like a year ago. So yeah, cause I got this one about a year ago to fix and it worked great. And then they came back to me and said, it just won't start up anymore. So we're gonna boot this up and I'm gonna show you what it does. And I'll show you it does not start. I'll show you what it does though. It does do something kind of weird. So it shows the Windows logo right there. As you can see, like it's starting up. Like it tries to boot up and it'll get stuck eventually and it just won't do anything. And it's really weird. I don't know what happened. I don't know if the system file corrupted, but it didn't look good. It looked pretty corrupted because I did fix this a while ago. So. Yeah, I don't even know if the um, creator's update was out yet when I even reinstalled this. Oh yeah, I think it was. I think it was when it actually just came out. I don't know if it's got the fall one or not. I'm not entirely sure because obviously I didn't ha I didn't have it to update it. So it, it might have auto-updated, I'm not sure, but... Uh, this computer is corrupted, and I'll show you what it does. So it looks like it's gonna load. But then, it doesn't, and I've noticed it's really slow, and I thought, well, maybe it's just being really slow, but even leaving it there five, ten minutes still doesn't do anything, so I don't understand what's going on and why it would be booting up so slow in the first place. Oh, so we do have please wait this time. Maybe that's a better sign. Maybe it's actually going to work, and it would get stuck here, and that's it. Oh! It's signing in. What the heck? Okay, what? Because it wouldn't sign in. It just kept freezing. But now all of a sudden it's signing in. That, that's, that's weird. That's kind of odd because they told me it was broken. And I saw it broken. It was just on this screen and nothing else. Unless it's not going to sign in. I don't know, maybe it just needed to be fully shut down, maybe we, the power button just needed to be held, maybe it locked up, I, I don't know, because we did hold the power button before I took it back here to fix it. So if your guys Windows 10 computer gets stuck at the lock screen, just shut it down, just hold the power button, don't push it because that'll probably hibernate it, hold it. That might have been the problem the entire time, was it just needed to be rebooted. And pushing the power button doesn't reboot it. So maybe they just weren't rebooting it correctly, because look, you can see it's loading. But it is going to need some maintenance, because it looks like it's going really slow. Well, we're on here, and it looks like it's fine, except the icons are all big, but... Yeah, I'm gonna need to run some maintenance on this computer. It's gonna need a bunch of work. You can see how slow this computer is. It's moving really slow. It, it did not boot up this slow when I had it. So it, it just needs some maintenance. I don't know if I'm gonna reinstall it or not. I might not, cause it might not even need it. Cause I'm just gonna run some maintenance and see if I can speed it up. But if I have to reinstall it, then I have to because there was someone saying, well, all you do when you fix computers is reinstall all the time. Well, that is not always the case. I've tried fixing a computer, actually, um, when I was on vacation, and I tried fixing it without reinstalling. Now, I fixed several computers, but not the one I did a computer adventure on because I forgot to actually edit that video. And um, I'm gonna try to edit that today or tomorrow if I can. But basically, what happened was, Someone gave this computer to fix, not this one, but a different one, because it was in another state. And basically, 
I tried to fix it without reinstalling by like running maintenance, like disc cleanup, disc defrag, C cleaner, and stuff like that. Like I just tried running basic stuff, but it was still really, really, really slow. And also it was an upgraded install from Windows 7 originally, and it was on Windows 10. So I guess the upgrade installs don't work as well as the clean installs. So basically, I just said, I'm gonna have to reinstall it. It's so slow, it, even when I copied the files to back it up, it was being slow. It took like a couple hours, I think, just to get all the files. And I find that kind of ridiculous. Maybe not a couple hours, maybe like an hour, but still that first, not even having that many files on it. I mean, it kind of did, but it wasn't like as many as I've seen on other computers, but it was still slow. However, the thing is, is that um with with that the 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 weird thing with that was that um it um what was I gonna say so basically I'm sorry guys I'm just thinking I have to think how I'm gonna say this but I just reinstalled the laptop and then once I did that it actually worked like flawlessly like it didn't freeze it didn't have any issues it just completely fixed everything and that I find that kind of strange because all the maintenance I ran didn't help like nothing helped but a reinstall helped and probably because it was it was having corrupted files since it was originally an upgrade install which is probably part of it it's probably a big part of it so Pretty much, that is the reason why you should always um, do clean installs if you can. Because upgraded installs just don't run as well. And I don't know why that is. And what is that icon right there? That X, there's an X on here. I don't know what that is. Let me... Scan a computer's not available. It's probably just because the printer is not hooked up or something. Um, I moved it on this side in case there's like personal um, information because I didn't think of that. Some of those file names might be personal information. So I might have to like box that out or something because I don't know if that's personal info or not. So I probably should have done this earlier. So I just don't want people's um, info getting shown because it could be something I should probably censor that side of the screen just because there's documents on there. And it might contain people's names and stuff like that, so I probably should censor that. Um, just in case. But pretty much, that's really, I mean, there's not much to say here because the computer boots. I think the reason why they said it didn't boot was um, their, the computer was stuck there, and they didn't hold the power button, so they didn't fully restart it. So every single time they kept trying to boot it back up, it kept doing the same thing. Why? Because they probably didn't hold the power button and completely shut it off. But I am going to tell you a couple ways to fix Windows if even that doesn't work. If it won't boot, if you can get an auto repair, which if it won't initiate one, you can hold the power button while it starts up like two times, and it will initiate a startup repair. And then you could try that, and if that doesn't work, you can go to Advanced Options and run a System Restore. And if that doesn't work, you could do a Reset This PC, and there is an option to keep your files. So if you have a computer that isn't starting up, or maybe blue screening at startup, or something like that, and you do not have installation media to fix that, well, that's how you, like, do that. Like, without having this thing which I do have a USB always around in case something goes wrong, in case something happens. You always want to have a Windows USB around in case. And you always want to make sure you update your installation media because when Microsoft releases um, new updates, the um, installation media gets outdated, which it looks like this is actually on FCU. So let's go to Windows key R. I'm going to type in Windows. It's probably not the latest build because it's not been used in months. Yeah, it's not by any means. Um, well, kind of is, because it is .192, but we're a couple behind. I mean, it's not, we're like two behind or something, I think. I mean, it's not super bad, but I guess it was updated fairly recently, but I'm just, I think I'm just going to run some maintenance and see how well it runs. I'm not going to do a computer adventure on this again, because 
I'm also busy a lot and I still need to edit the one computer adventure I did, which you guys will see. So I'm gonna upload this video today and then I'm gonna try, try to upload the other video tomorrow of the reveal to the blindfold build challenge I did back in November. And then in January, I saw the reveal. It was like the end of December. It was basically January, but um, you guys will see that video hopefully soon. So pretty much that is just some ways on how to like fix computers that aren't starting if they're like Windows 10. And I believe that, that what I said will also work on Windows 8 and 8.1, which hopefully you guys, if you are, if you do have 8, let's hope it's 8.1 because Windows 8 is no longer supported anymore. So, anyways, guys, um, that's all I have. I'm gonna edit this. I'm gonna have to censor some things in case of personal info. I didn't think of that, so, um, anyways, that's, that's all I have here, so. Hopefully you guys enjoyed watching this. Let me know what else you guys wanna see. I know I don't have a lot of uploads. School's been hard the last couple weeks I had, like, two projects, three, four essays. Um, I've had a lot of math homework. So it's just been very, very busy for me, and it's just that time of year. Right now, I'm not as busy, which is good. Like, it seemed like by the end of this week, it kind of slowed down a little bit. This week, I was really busy, but next week, I don't think will be as bad since I don't have any projects right now. But it doesn't mean I'm not going to get another project, because within these next couple of weeks, I'm sure another project's going to show up. So pretty much, though, I do have a big plan for the summer and I have a lot of good plans. I'm gonna do all kinds of cool things and you guys are gonna see it and it's gonna be really awesome. And I have this big thing planned and yes, only a few of you know about it because I've not said this to everyone. You're lucky if I told you about it because this is not something I really wanna tell a bunch of people right now. And so you're one of the lucky ones if you guys actually heard about it, so. You guys will, will know in a few months anyways what it is, so... And if any of you guys are watching this and know what it is, don't comment it, because I want it to be a surprise for the people that don't know. Anyways, thanks for watching. Um, hopefully you guys have a wonderful day, and, um, and um, yeah, bye-bye for now, and yeah.